Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a jump transition like this one. So to get started I've already imported the footage that I'm going to use and now I'm going to create a new composition. It's going to be 5 seconds long and it's going to match my footage by its settings. So I'm using the HDTV 1080 preset and after creating the composition I'm going to take these new clips and I'm going to drag them into it. So this is my first clip and I want it to end right here at 2.15 so I'm going to press Control shift d to split it and this is the second clip and I want it to start maybe like this so with the playhead right here I'm going to press Control shift d to split it and I'll delete the first part. Now I'm just going to rearrange them like that and once you've set the in point and the out point of your clips, we can start. So we need to select both of these clips and press P on the keyboard to open the position property. Now the next step is with both of these clips selected, click on any stopwatch and that will create a set of keyframes for you. So with the first clip selected, I'm going to press page up one, two, three, four times and that's going to move us four frames backwards. So I'll set a keyframe right there and then let me put the playhead back here in the middle. Now I'm going to press page down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, which is going to move us eight frames forwards and I'm going to create a keyframe on the second clip. So to animate this transition, you can select the first clip and we're going to temporarily move the last keyframe of the animation uh, one frame backwards so that we can see what we're doing. Um, you can move your clips to the right or to the left or you can use the top corners. So for this tutorial I'm gonna use the top right corner. So I'm just gonna grab the clip and I'm gonna move it up there. Now with the second clip if you've moved the first clip to the top right corner you want to do the opposite. You want to move the second clip to the bottom left corner like that. And now let's put this keyframe back where it was. And if I preview this, you can see what we've done so far. Now the next step is going to be selecting all of these keyframes and then hitting F9 to easy ease them. And once you've done that with all of your keyframes selected, click right here to open the graph editor. If you don't see the same thing that I'm seeing, then right click and make sure that you enable the speed graph. So let me just zoom in a bit on the timeline and now I'm going to select the first set of keyframes and we really need to exaggerate its velocity by dragging these yellow handles so that its um, velocity really goes up right here. And then with the second set of keyframes, we just want to do it slightly. We don't want to um, overdo it and make the animation look bad. So once you have something like this, you can close the graph editor and preview your animation and you can immediately see the difference in the way it animates. Now the next step is going to be enabling motion blur by clicking on this switch for both of these clips and if you don't see this then click on toggle switches and modes and now enable the motion blur for all these layers by cl clicking right here and as you can see now motion blur is enabled. The problem that we have is that on the first keyframe of the second clip, there's no motion blur. That's because technically the animation hasn't started yet. So we're just going to select both of these keyframes and move them one frame backwards. And as you can see, now here comes the motion blur. The final thing that we need to fix are these black edges. So to fix that, we're going to go to the effects and presets panel and type in Repetile. That's the effect that we're going to use. So you need to apply it to your clip and set the tiling mode to unfold because that's what usually works best with most footage. And then we need to expand this clip to the right and we also need to expand it to the top. So expand up and also expand right. Now we're going to copy this effect over to the first clip by selecting it and pressing Ctrl C. Then you need to select the second clip and press Ctrl V. Um, I'm going to reset this so we again need to set the tiling mode to unfold and for this clip we need to expand it to the left and down. So let's just expand it like this. 
and as you can see there's no black edges so now I can preview this transition and now we're done. That's it for this tutorial, for more tutorials please check out my channel, thank you for watching and see you next time.